हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर पुनीता रंगराज ऑब्सटेशियन गायनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड इनफर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट कैम्ब्रिज हॉस्पिटल अलसूर बैंगलोर If you are sexually active and still if you don't want to get pregnant it is very essential that you use a contraceptive it is better than getting pregnant and going for an abortion there are various ways of contraception available one can choose depending on your requirement and your acceptability but a word of caution not all the oral contraceptives are not 100% doesn't give a protection The first one would be the contraception timing of the intercourse. If you have a regular period once in 28 to 30 days, then you ovulate in the middle 10 days of the periods. So avoid sex during those middle 10 days. The first 10 days and the last 10 days are safe. But if your period is not regular, this method is going to give you a very high failure rate. So that is not for people who have irregular periods. the second method would be to time your ovulation there are ovulation kits which are available in the market maybe you can start doing your ovulation maybe from the 8th day of your cycle just put a drop of urine into the ovulation kit and see whether it becomes positive you can go on from 8th 9th 10th day like that the day it becomes positive that means you are going to ovulate another 24 to 36 hours so you should prevent having sex from that day for another 5 6 days it is quite simple and a little more reliable if you are able to do it regularly suppose if you are not able to do the ovulation kit then you can go for a barrier method this is not very prevalent in india but it is called a diaphragm or a female condom it is a rubber disc with a flexible rim which can be fitted into the vagina just before having an intercourse you take this diaphragm push it deeply into the vagina so that it forms a barrier between the cervix that is opening of the uterus and the vagina so once the semen is deposited in the vagina it prevents it from entering into the uterus thus fertilization doesn't take place but once you use this diaphragm it had to be kept in place for a minimum of 6 hours maximum of 24 hours then you remove it and discard it a failure rate can happen in this barrier method if you are not fixing the diaphragm properly or where you are using the wrong size so the first time you go to a medical professional she will be able to tell you what is your exact size and then you can start using this barrier contraception and the next would be OCPs otherwise called as oral contraceptive pills this is a combination of estrogen and progesterone when it is given cyclically throughout a month it prevents ovulation so you will not be able to get pregnant there are two types of tablets one tablet you take it for 3 weeks that is starting from the second day of your period and then you go on for 3 weeks give a gap of 1 week you might get your periods within that 1 week then you start again after 1 week There's another set of tablet which you take it for the whole month starting from day 1 cyclically you'll have to go on taking it for the whole month the thing is when you are taking this tablet you have to be very regular in taking suppose if you miss the tablet for a day or two or if you forget to take the tablet no matter whether you are having intercourse or not but you have to be regular about the tablet if you are irregular about the tablet then you may get pregnant or you may have a spotting in between called a breakthrough bleeding so you have to be very very regular the side effect of this oral contraceptive pill some of them not everybody some of them will experience little dizziness nausea vomiting or mood swings or a weight gain then the next method would be long acting injectables these are a dipo injections which is given deep intramuscular into the buttocks This injection can be taken once in 3 months. The mode of action is almost like a oral contraceptive. There is a slow release of hormone and it prevents ovulation so you don't get pregnant. A little bit of side effect is you may have irregular spotting throughout the month or you may not get your periods at all that is totally will become amenorrheic. But 
you can use the injection as long as you don't want to get pregnant once you stop the injection your menstrual cycle reverts back to normal then the next method would be implants they are the medicated implants which can be implanted by making a small incision in the upper arm your medical personnel will be able to implant it into your arm this is a long acting contraceptive which acts for 3 to 5 years by slow release of the hormone and preventing ovulation and the other step would be intrauterine contraceptive devices called IUD very prevalent uh, very commonly called as loop this can be advised for people who want to go for a long-term contraception of three to five years or for women who want to space between one child to another child it is a small intrauterine device which is wound with copper or it could be medicated once it is fixed into the uterus putting it fixing it to the uterus is an outpatient procedure hardly takes five minutes to put it and hardly takes two minutes to remove it if you don't want it there is a continuous supply or release of this copper or the release of this medicine which gets released slowly and thus it interferes chemically from and changing the ovum chemical changes to the egg and the chemical changes to the sperm so it prevents fertilization sometimes it acts as a mechanical barrier also for contraception and the last would be a permanent method called sterilization it is a surgical method this is advocated only for patients who have finished their family way and they don't want to get pregnant again in such cases this surgery is done it is also done as an outpatient procedure you can come in the morning get the surgery done go back in the evening there are two type of surgeries we do one is the conventional tubectomy the other one is a laparoscopic sterilization in a conventional tubectomy we make a small incision in the abdomen and take out the tubes and tie it up put it back and stitch it in a laparoscopy we make some two holes on the abdomen the scope it goes inside we put some rings on both sides of the fallopian tubes and block it fallopian tubes are the one which transports the egg from the place of release to the uterus so once the tubes are blocked your egg doesn't reach the uterus that prevents fertilization okay coming to the male contraception there are two ways there could be a male contraception one is the regularly used very prevalent condoms this acts as a barrier uh, from the vagina to the semen so naturally when there is no contact of the semen into the vagina so there is no fertilization it not only prevents pregnancy it also prevents sexually transmitted like uh, diseases like uh, uh, AIDS and such things and all that so it is highly recommended the second male contraception is a surgical procedure where there is a small tube on both sides of the testicle called vas deferens which we try to block it by a local anesthesia very simple procedure that's also an outpatient procedure they can get it and uh, go this blocking the vas deferens prevents the semen from entering into the seminal fluid by getting the surgery done it doesn't interfere with the sexual intercourse or the normal sexual life or a proper ejaculation doesn't interfere in any way so that is male contraception now the last one would be an emergency contraception this is the contraception which is used after having an unprotected sex so naturally the semen is deposited in the vagina there are all chances that it can get you can get pregnant that is the time we use an emergency contraception there are tablets which are available which can be taken any time between 24 hours to 5 days there are tablets available which is, can be taken as a single dose or there are tablets which are available which can be taken at the interval of 12 hours by taking this tablet it delays the ovulation and it brings some changes in the sperm so that it prevents fertilization and uh, these tablets the earlier you take the success rate would be better that is within 24 hours if you take the tablet the success rate would be better if you take the tablet more than five days or some such thing it may not be very useful and 
this IUCD, what I was talking about the loop, can also be used as an emergency contraception. This is applicable for people who want a contraception for a longer duration. Suppose they have had an unprotected sex and immediately if you use a loop within 5 days or within 24 hours, it definitely prevents fertilization and it forms a long time contraception. I think we have come to the end of contraceptive devices and uh, if you follow any of these methods, definitely it, your unwanted pregnancy can be prevented.